solve the foregoing problem if pan has a mass m so initially the pan has a mass m and this block has fallen from a height h so the pan is at rest initially so of course it is at its mean position so mean position with just the m so unstretched spring will be somewhere here the mean position with m will be here and once they stick together then the new position will be new mean position will be somewhere even down these are the three important points so for first is unstretched spring second is when the mass was still in the air where was this mass m that is the mean position with just m and then for the combined system the new mean position with m plus m so we are doing all this so we can find this value of x not which is the position of the particle when it strikes from the new mean position so if this is x2 this is x1 x not will be x2 minus x1 so let's find the values of x1 and x2 so that we can find value of x not and then we can use this equation so mean position with m so at this point capital mg should be equal to kx1 and at new position kx2 should be equal to m plus m into g so if you just subtract that you will get x0 is equal to x2 minus x1 is equal to mg by k so we got x0 for this equation now we know we need to know the velocity of the combined system when it at this position now the collision is completely inelastic so we can find the final velocity by momentum conservation so initial momentum is small m into root 2 gh mv is equal to m plus m into final velocity so velocity of the system comes to be this so this is velocity at this position and this is the value of that position so we'll put the both velocity and the position in this equation omega will be root k by m plus m so we put these values here and we'll get our answer amplitude comes to be this all right